Welcome everyone. The first step to activate full page screenshots on your iPhone is go to the website you will want to use this screenshot on and just scroll to the bottom and this will ensure that when we take the full page screenshot all of the images that we want will load. So let's say this is what I want. Okay. And so once you've done this, we need to take a screenshot. So if you don't have a home button iPhone, click and release the power key and the volume down key at the same time. So click release. No way. <sighs> click release the power and volume up key at the same time. So click release and you should see a preview, which you can tap on. If you have a home button iPhone, click release power and home instead. And once you tap on the preview, so you missed it, you have a preview when you take the screenshot and you can just tap on that preview. Okay. When you tap on it, you should have the full page option show up. And you can see this will have the full page taken as a PDF. Okay. If this full page option doesn't show up, make sure you use the Safari browser as other browsers may not support this feature. So we're going to tap on the share icon here and we're going to see it will save as a PDF document. So keep that one in mind. And so we're going to slide down. And we're going to tap on save the files and we're just going to save it where you want to like that to access your saved full page screenshot we're going to find and open the files app we're going to tap on browse and just locate where you save that pdf and you can see the full page screenshot is right here. You tap on share. You can print it if you want. And you have a bunch of other options as well. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.